Okay, so we've already seen and heard that the Doppler effect is a phenomenon found in waves due to the relative motion between whatever is making the sound or the source of the wave and whatever is receiving the signal. So I'm going to show you a simulation I found on YouTube uh, by Peltier Physics and it's going to show you how you can achieve the Doppler effect in two ways. In the first simulation, whatever's making the source is going to be stationary. It's just going to be standing still, and that'll be this red person you see at the middle of the screen. So he's going to be emitting a steady frequency, and you'll, they'll be manifested as circular waves coming out of the person. Let's run it and see what happens. So he starts making a steady signal. I'll pause it here. We know it's steady because the wavelength or the distance between these crests, which are these circular lines, is constant on this side of the wave. And over here we've got our listener. So right now he doesn't hear anything because the waves, or the sound waves, have yet to reach him. But in a moment he'll start to hear that steady pitch. Now his ear will start to vibrate at the same rate that those waves are passing him. And as soon as he starts to move towards that source, more waves will hit his ear per second. So in that situation, as he's running towards the source, he will experience a higher frequency. The pitch will go up, a high pitch sound. And then as he passes the source, notice what happens. It takes the waves a bit of extra time to now catch up to him because he's in motion. So in that situation, as he's running away from it, because the waves have to catch up to his motion, he will experience a lower pitch sound. So this is how we get the Doppler effect when the source is stationary.